big super fight, and that's going to be John Dixon against Dan Severn. Let's go to our ring announcer, Alexander Laurent. So now, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Batarouge, LSU, are you ready? Because now, the heat is on, and it's time to throw down. Gentlemen, the time has come. Let's play. Ladies and gentlemen, the bad boys are coming to town. I'm the short. Ladies and gentlemen, this the super heavyweight champion. He is from Biloxi, Mississippi. The WKKG, a super heavyweight kickboxing champion of the world. He is 16 and 0. 16 and 0 as a professional. He was the All Army Taekwondo champion. He has a true one punch knockout capability as a striker, coupled with the fact that he is a two time national judo champion grappler. It makes him one of the most impressive no holds bar fighters in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together at 6'1, 275 pounds from Biloxi, Mississippi. He's the hammer, the Bayou bad boy, John the Hammer. for 16 years in kickboxing he's 17 and 0 17 knockouts well John can get those hands working for him and give him a slight edge in the beginning let's see if Dan's able to move circling to his uh, to John's left and neutralize that right hand that John has to get right here John Dixon, a hard count supervisor at a casino in Biloxi. He got started in karate from a little help early on in his childhood by watching Bruce Lee movies, worked out at his YMCA, but he felt karate just wasn't fair. It was by points, and then that wasn't enough. The rules must fit it in. He wanted more, and that's what he came to the IFC for. Here's what John Dixon had to say about this upcoming fight. I want to thank the IFC for giving me a chance to fight Dan. Dan's been really good for this sport, and I'm here for a real good fight. I feel the fight's going to go to the ground eventually because Dan's too good of a grappler to say I'm not going to go to the ground. I'm a stand-up fighter, but I plan to fight my game, so I'm definitely here to do my best. So let's take a look at John Dixon at his debut from Kiev, Ukraine, as he prepares to meet the beast. Here's our boss, Rutan. Ron Van Cleef and I call that fight against Alexander the Dragon Mandic. This ought to be a quick bout. If you've never heard of John Dixon, this man has the power and punch of any guy that uh, has ever been inside the diamond. Ron, talk about the style you see. John Dixon is one heavy hitter, and the Dragon is one heck of a jiu-jitsu grappler. Nice uh, right kick, trying to get into the chest area. And uh, boss, there's the first uh, look for the, the grappling of Alexander. Yep, they're both doing, yeah, standing up and going down. This is what fighting is, this is what all fighting is. Going down, standing up. 30 seconds into this match, John Dixon, Alexander, uh, Mandrick, both trying to size each other up. There was John with another right with his leg. This guy has so much power, and not only his legs, Grappling there, has him, it looks like it's going to be a submission hold. John Dixon looks like he has Alexander in some kind of trouble inside the diamond at the International Fighting Championship. Again, no rules. The only way he can stop the fight is by a knockout or a submission. Andy Alex Anderson looking over as a referee as they come out of that grappling hold. Both fighters now back up, trying to set this up in themselves, trying to get the head into the fight trying to find out which way he should attack best. Well, it looks like John is on top. He's just hit him with a heavy knee, and now that uppercut. John is the heaviest hitter in this match, but Mandrich 
the Dragon is one heck of a grappler. It's really hard for a small guy to take down a 275-pound guy. One minute, a little over 40 seconds into this match. John Dixon, Alexander Mandrick of Kharkiv, Ukraine, 5'8", 176 pounds, 29 years old, John Dixon out of Biloxi, Mississippi. This is a guy that wants to take advantage of every part of his arsenal he can, whether it be grappling or the martial arts. This guy is a judo champion from Mississippi and an expert in kickboxing. Yes, he's got him in the form right now. The Russian guy is pounding with his heel on the on both of the top of the foot from John. And it's really dangerous too because you can break your foot that way. So the dragon looking to get into the groin area of John. Again, a legal maneuver. Oh, he's punched John in the groin five times. It's a front jump. Very nice. That front was jump. a very quick match. I have that just like over two minutes. And uh, he had seen enough. That was it. As Andy Anderson brings them both to the center. Andy Anderson, by the way, an Olympic uh, referee. He will be in Atlanta, 19. Uh, 96 Taekwondo referee as he gets ready to announce the winners and we send Ron Van Fleet in to try to get a, a little word with the uh, the winner of this first bout in our international fighting championship our ring announcer Charlie Anselong to announce the winner of this first bout the time of the bout two minutes 30 seconds winner by submission John Dixon so a look at John Dixon at his debut from Kiev, Ukraine, as he prepares to meet the beast. The beast has arrived. Dan Severn at 6'1", 255 pounds, he's 39 years of age. He has been wrestling for 29 years, 13-time AAU champ, Pan America champ, World Cup first champ, third-degree black belt judo, first-degree black belt combat sambo. This guy has won hundreds of tournaments. Being a part of the IFC, we are setting history present here tonight. This is the first event that's been allowed in the state of Louisiana, and it's an honor and pleasure to be here to perform in front of all these fans this evening. You've got a women's tournament. You've got a male's tournament taking place. You've got the Super Bowl. Tonight, I take on John Dixon, 25 feet across that octagon. Five and a half feet high chain link fence. No place to run, no place to hide, nothing but pure action. Big Dan has lost 10 pounds. Uh, let's see if that works to his advantage. We're giving him a little more speed and see if he can use that to wear the extra weight which John is carrying against him. Dan Severn, 50 and 3 in no rules fighting. He is coached at Arizona State, Michigan State. He owns his own training facility now in Coldwater, Michigan, and works with lots of amateurs around the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen, he is a two-time UFC tournament champion and an ultimate fighting super heavyweight champion. He is renowned as one of the premier freestyle life fighters in the world. This 12-time AAU Greco-Roman and freestyle wrestling champion holds 85 state, national, and international wrestling titles. He is a second degree black belt in judo. Ladies and gentlemen, from Cold War, Michigan, weighing in at 250 pounds, six feet two inches tall they call him the beast ladies and gentlemen Dan the beast Seven. so our super fight is set John Dixon from Biloxi Mississippi against Dan Severn of Coldwater Michigan Andy Anderson is our referee and this ought to be one great IFC super fight here in Baton Rouge Dan's got a game plan. He didn't tell me what it was, so let's see if I can kind of pick it out. Keep in mind, John Dixon, his first fight since his injury in Kiev almost a year ago. He's circling to his right. He's going to maintain the range, stay just out of the kicking, punching range of John. Make John make a mistake, shoot. 
Dan Severn certainly knows his way around the map. He's been wrestling for 29 years. John Dixon certainly feeling that he has a chance now to make some sort of history tonight if, if he can beat the beast, Dan Severn, Becky Levi, many times in the corner of Dan Severn, also in the corner tonight. Dan Severn has Dixon up against the cage. He's taking him down to the mat now. Broken loose in the hole now. Counting away with the elbow. 45 seconds into this bout. Dan Severn with some rights. A left to the face of John Dixon. Another left, another right, pounding around the body. Going with now his left elbow. Now Good his knee. left knee. Good knee. A series of rights and left to the head of John Dixon. Dan Severn trying to take advantage at the 110 mark of this bout. Andy Anderson, our referee, looking on, looking for whichever one of our opponents here decides that he's had enough. Another right quickly to the head of Dan, John Dixon. I like Dan's learn how to fire those knees in there. He's working those little rapid punches. Bring that punch down, hook it right as you hit the eye. You can Make a great little laceration. John smothering him up a little bit. A head butt by Severn to the head of John Dixon. Continuing to put pressure on his opponent. Another right to the side of Dixon's head as he picked him up against the cage. 150 into this match. Dan Severn against John Dixon in our IFC Super Fight. Well, this man actually right on top of us. We can hear the shots. What about four feet away? Becky Levi saying to turn it up to Dan Severn. John Dixon also with a pretty good contingent here cage side as they offer their support to their opponent in the ring. Now John's got his leg. Get up, get up, get up. For also that Dan can't get any leverage in there or pass his guard the way he wants to. Dan continues to put pressure hitch to the body. There's a left to the face of Dixon. Another left, a series of lefts. And that's it, that's it. Dixon had had enough. Two minutes, 33 seconds. Two minutes, 33 seconds. Dan Severn has won his first fight in the IFC. Two minutes, 33 seconds. Dan Severn winning his IFC super fight against John Dixon. These are two long time admirers of each other. Dan maintain, maintain a fantastic mount there. Didn't give John any way to go. He kept the punches going, kept distracting with the knees, coming back with the punches, maintained the mount, and it paid off for him. Let's go ringside as we take one more quick look at how it all ended. See John's Dan getting a series there of blows. John's getting too much daylight for those punches. He's got to bridge up, get his head into a Dan's chest so Dan has no daylight executing those punches. Dan trying to come back in with a headbutt. See Dan's maintaining fantastic balance. Bring that knee back around, going back with short punches. Just nothing John is working here. It's working for him. A couple more punches. Used his knee to get an open shot and that was pretty much it. And this is how it finally ended as John Dixon had had enough. And Andy Dan wants to talk to you, so don't leave yet. As Andy Anderson stops the fight and Dan Severn at a time of 2.33 wins our super fight. Time now to go for our official announcement. Let's go to Alexander Laurent. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Battle on the Bayou Super Heavyweight Champion, they call him the Beast. Ladies and gentlemen, Dan the Beast Severn! Dan Severn, an impressive display in his first fight ever in the IFC. So he's got a lot of experience behind him, but we are so excited about having Dan Severn. Let's go talk now to John Dixon. This obviously was a tough fight for you going against the Beast. The intimidation factor. Obviously, Dan, with the reputation that he has, no holes barred. You're a tough guy. I mean, you put up a tough fight. Well, you know, Dan's good. Like I said, he's good for the sport. And he, he came in as a wrestler. He's a fan of wrestling. A lot of credit for that. So uh, I'll be back, though, but I appreciate the IFC letting me fight Dan. I hope we get a chance to get laid on the road. All right, man, congratulations. John Dixon, what a great All right. competitor. Now, Dan the Beast, Severin.
All right, big guy, you came through again. Everybody came here to see the Beast get it done this time. Uh, is the Beast back where he wants to be? The Beast is almost, and I repeat, almost 100%. I want you people to know here, in the state of Louisiana, tonight you witness history. The first No Hard Barred event being held in this great state. I appreciate it. These other athletes appreciate your support. Without your support, we cannot go on. Let's talk about the fight, Dan. Uh, obviously, you guys were banging heads. I mean, this was tough and you had it down. Were you, were you in any, any trouble at any time? Basically, in the match with John Dixon, you had two different styles. You had basically a wrestler of 29 years. He comes hailing strongly from stand-up, kickboxing, and boxing. I tried to avoid his strengths, capitalize on what I felt might be some weak areas. He surprised me with the head and arm lock, a very powerful individual. I appreciate going into the ring with people of athletic caliber such as John Dixon. Again, I just want to thank you people for being out here, being in support, and I will go out there. I will sign every last autograph while the lights are still on. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Dan, the Beast, Severin! Dan Severin, our super white fight champion tonight here in the IFC Netsmith, along with Joe Lewis Jr. What a night here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Two Russians come away winners. Of course, we had our first female Elimination winner, and that was Z Vyshlitsu. And then Vladimir Machushenko came in impressively as well. He is in tremendous shape. I mean, real strong, real fast. It's rare you see the combination of good execution of technique, and they've got the physical attributes to back it up, and the heart. It's rare. You have to like some of the competition you saw tonight throughout the IFC brackets. One thing I'd like to com comment on was Dan's last fight there. I kind of figured out his tactic. He he circled uh, to John's left, you know, staying away from John's right side. Uh, he stayed just a little out of his punching and kicking range, neutralizing punch. Dan was working what we call entrapment, drawing him into the trap, setting him up to get John down on the ground, working to his advantage. Here it's just a matter of, of, of time before John's going to submit. Dan's doing a little struggling here, but of course you got to remember, John's a big, strong boy, so he's got to use a little physical attributes here to neutralize. John, tremendous strength. He's working the punches. Unfortunately, John's giving too much daylight here to get the punches off. Dan could come in with a left knee here, but he's choosing not to. Looks like he tried a little headbutt. Well, Dan Severn, remember, in no rules fighting, he's 50 and three. He has been around quite a while, and his first win ever in the IFC. He's learning to hang with his punches. He's learning to hang with his kickers. He's got it down. He knows how to neutralize her advantage, just like he said. 